Hey you. Yeah you. Do you like Discord? Probably. Do you like me? Probably not. <laughs> well, I just launched my own Discord server. You can find a link to join in the description of the video. So go do it. More info about it will be at the end of the video. Hi, I'm Ruben, I think. And look, everybody knows Angry Birds, but I'm not gonna talk about the main game in movies because everybody knows and remembers those. Mostly because Angry Birds is probably the most well-known mobile game ever. Instead of that, I'm gonna talk about the spin-offs, my favorites, ha! You ready for some obscurity? Probably not, but let's go. Heck yes. This is one of the more obscure ones. So basically, the best bird in all of Angry Birds history, Ice Bird, change my mind, I dare you, crash lands on Earth, I think. Sure, let's go with Earth. So he came down through a wormhole, but so does his giant claw machine looking thing, and he yoinks the bird's eggs. So all the birds, along with Ice Bird, use their slingshot to shoot them into the wormhole, which transforms them from normal circular birds into circular birds with drip! These games are weird, okay? But the gameplay is actually super sick, mainly because of the new gravity and the mechanic give this game a very unique spin on the regular Angry Birds formula. So basically, this game was a banger. You guys remember the movie Rio? Yeah, it was a movie. It takes place in Rio. Wow. That I remember it as the place where the Lord himself, he poses. The movie is about a blue bird and endangered birds and lots of other birds in captivity. Wow, great script writing, Pause Ruben. And that makes them very angry. Wait! So the birds get shipped over to Rio where they meet up with Blue and Girl Blue to stop the captivators. This game is eh. I don't really enjoy Star Wars, but yeah, this game was basically Angry Birds with a reskin. But the lightsaber abilities are okay, and the bit of low gravity gameplay was fun. And it's so charming to see all the birds dressed up as Star Wars characters. All around this game wasn't great, but it was everywhere. It was almost on every single platform at the time, from PlayStation 4, Windows Phone, and even Nintendo 3DS. It was inescapable. This, this is what we want. While the first game was a subpar crossover cash grab, the sequel, what? These characters were good! Pretty much every Star Wars character gets a cameo. And did I mention every character has a special ability to them and them only? And the game itself was amazing! The level design, top notch. With lots of low gravity changes throughout it all, which is always welcome. But my favorite part of it was that you got to pick a side. The bird side, the good guys in the regular cast of birds, but you can also play on the pork side the dark side where get this you get to play as the pigs each side has the same story but from their point of view and the story is super faithful to the movie i think again i don't watch star wars but i do think there's a lot of likeness like how in the story darth vader is actually a bird meaning he used to be one of the good guys if you have watched star wars unlike me you will know what this is a reference to All in all, this game was a banger. The fact that you have to buy characters could be done without, though. We don't really have to talk about this one. So, if you have not guessed by now, Angry Birds is mainly aimed at the male audience. But then they made Angry Birds Stella. Rovio's... Rovio? Is that how you say the company name? Rovio. I'm just gonna say it like that. Rovio's attempt to appeal to the female audience. 
It's really easy to see what they did. And what they did was just gender swap the main character and most of the other cast. It's so shamelessly obvious which characters in the game are paralleling each of the characters from the main series. And the levels are just bland and boring. It's Rovio trying to mimic the success of the first game by making it again, just with a new coat of paint and new character. Pretty much the only thing I like about this game is that instead of regular pigs as the villains, you have pig servants and a bird as the big bad! Whoa! Y'all heard of Mario Kart? I took a popular thing and put them in cars and they would race! Wow! Angry Birds did this. And get this! It was good! Play as the cast, which you unlock along the way, and each of them had different abilities, and you could play as the pigs and the birds. This is starting to sound a lot like Angry Birds Star Wars 2. Hmm. But the way you unlock the cars that aren't the ones that the game gives you is one of two ways. One of those is being pretty scummy, which is paying for it. You. But the other way. Uh, I'll cover that later. I'll also briefly mention the Angry Birds countdown app, which counted down the days until the game release. When I was little, I spent about an hour each day patiently waiting for the full game to release on this app. But when it did, I played it every single day. Also, screw Chuck, dude. Hey kid, have you ever wanted to play a turn-based RPG as the Angry Birds set in a med medieval fantasy world? Well, have I got the game for you! Angry Birds Epic is my third favorite Angry Birds game. And even though it's not my absolute favorite, this is probably the best Angry Birds game in my opinion. So in this game, you start off with Red, obviously. And he has to save the eggs from Wizard Pig while also saving his friends. Oh, and also, Every character has a different ability. Uh, I'm starting to see a pattern here. So yeah, Red is a knight and Chuck is a wizard. Stuff like that. This game is actually really fun. I remember as a small boy, I tried to be like the birds and have my own armor and weapon. I put a paper bag on my head or a milk bottle, I can't remember, or a cardboard box and wielded a Minecraft sword. I was epic. This was hype. Angry Birds and Transformers? What? You play as the birds who you unlock along the way, and each of them had a different type of gun, and you could play as the pigs. Now I'm, that I'm describing all of these, they all sound pretty similar. Anyway, in my opinion, the gameplay was actually pretty boring. The character would auto run and you would tap to shoot, and sometimes you would turn into a convertible. Let's go. Yeah, this game was never my favorite. That would have to go too. This is my favorite Angry Birds game, and it is so good. Basically, the pigs have made a map to get the eggs, eggs, eggs. But uh-oh, they ripped it, and it's gone everywhere. So now the pigs have to build vehicles to get them back. And this is so good! There is so much content. Different worlds, modes, objectives, and unlockable. This is the most creative Angry Birds game ever. Because you fail, and you have to try again. And that gets you addicted. Trial and error, baby! And this game almost has no mention of the overrated main cost. Finally! And also, you will never forget the theme music. Yeah, so this is my favorite Angry Birds game ever. It turns out on TikTok that they put some ads advertising Bad Piggies too. What? So those were all the games I wanted to talk about, but there are just three more pieces of Angry Birds media I want to talk about. And these, these were weird, dude. Um, this was an 
interesting piece of Angry Birds media. It's just random shorts and stories with the Angry Birds characters. It's a cartoon with episodes that have no rhyme or reason with each other and just play around with the very simple but correct plot of the actual games or just do their own thing. You can actually find a lot of the episodes of the show on Netflix and the full series on YouTube. Now, when I was younger, I actually enjoyed these shorts, but then I rewatched some episodes and the show is bad. Maybe because the episodes are so short, or maybe it's because it's hard to understand because of the made up bird language. Wait, didn't I already cover this? Well, yes and no. So Angry Birds Stella, the game, and the show was released pretty close to one another. And I guess the real reason they made this show was to explain the new bird's personality and backstories. But also give some more depth to the plot. Oh yeah! There's a story! Finally! I watched a few episodes and it's better than the other cartoon. And also, the animation is... Stella! What I don't like about it is that there are so many filler episodes before the actual story. Now that we have covered the TV shows, let's go on to the last thing we're going to talk about. The most obscure thing in this video and the sole reason I wanted to make this in the first place. And that thing is... So, in 2013, Rovio partnered with Hasbro to create small collectible toys called Angry Birds Telepods. So, they came in boxes, but also play sets a la Hot Wheels. And at the bottom of the little figures was a very small QR code that you could use with a little structure to magnify the QR code. And then you would put it on your iPad's camera, which would scan it into the game and give you stuff. So basically, telepods were toys with a QR code and a magnifying glass. Brilliant! So there was a telepod for different characters, but also specific games. But the thing is, only designated telepods work with the designated games. The selection of games that had telepod compatibility was endless. There was four compatible games. Yep. Uh, I'm finally done with this video took too long i'm sorry i procrastinated a lot and also just school stuff but now i'm actually on holiday so i'll be able to make more videos faster i'm gonna try and make as many videos as i can also uh, i'm gonna try editing my next video with premiere pro because i think it's a better editing software than from the one i'm currently using and also, oh my gosh, I started the year with um, 150 subscribers. And at the time of recording this, we're at like 234. That is insane. Thank you, guys. And also, thank you for all the nice comments. It's been really encouraging. And I'm thankful for each and one of you that leaves a comment. And yeah, also, I... As said in the beginning of the video, I have a Discord server. It's only 13 and up. So, yeah, please join it. It's a real it'll be a really fun time. Just make sure to read the rules first. All right. Um oh yeah, also um I unlisted all my uh other videos that I'm not really proud of. They're still up, you can find them in the playlist section under RubenTube HD era and PizzaGo1820 era. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say in the end card. Uh, if you've gotten this far, um, thanks. Thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe and maybe comment. If you don't want to, that's also fine, but it helps me out a lot, and I would really appreciate it. it. You don't have to if you don't want to. Alright, I think that's everything I have to say. Goodbye, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!